Hello, my name is Andrew. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Jib using your mobile on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. So the first thing you've got to consider is what you want to do inside your workspace is select your surface. First, I'm going to show you how to use whiteboard. I've got whiteboard selected, mobile is my input. Now, if it's the first time that you're using mobile, the Jib Connect mobile app, you want to go into your control panel, click the little orange icon to go next, and then install the Jib Connect mobile app and it'll ask you to scan a QR code in order to log in. So I'm gonna do that by using the Jib Connect app, scanning it, and then when you see this screen, that means you're ready to go. So keep your phone open. As you can also see here, I can turn the camera preview on and I'm gonna use a coffee mug because I don't have a phone stand. I'm gonna place my phone standing upright like that. And in both on the screen of my phone and on the control panel, I can see a preview of the whiteboard behind me. I'm making sure that I'm fitting the whole surface inside the preview. And then I'm gonna click start. Now Jib's, I'm gonna move out of the way until Jib says, start writing. As you can see on my screen, it's displaying my graph. My phone is standing there. Okay. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use paper with your mobile. Click stop. So now I'm going to keep my phone open. I'm going to use my coffee mug again, but this time I'm going to use the control panel to change my surface from whiteboard to paper. I'm going to turn the camera preview back on, as you can see. This time I'm going to place the phone standing up inside my mug, slightly leaning forward like that. Now I want to make sure that my whole piece of paper is fitting inside the camera preview, and I can see that in both examples here. So now when I'm ready, I'm just going to click start. I'm going to keep my phone still. I'm not going to put my hands in the way. And as you can see, Jib has already detected the writing. I've already drawn a graph on here, but I might add a few lines on this one, a few lines on this one. I can move my paper if I want to, but it's better to try and keep it still. I'm not going to touch my phone. And as you can see, the perfect uh, rendering comes out like that. If you want to learn more, go and check out our other videos on our help page.